Hey folks, it's your buddy Jason here. I was just messing around at my base and looking at some of the comments and questions I've received. Uh, one of them that I, I wanted to take a quick look at was how do you refill ro oxygen tanks and how do you refill your uh, propulsion tank or your jetpack or propellant tank? So, first things first, it, if you haven't done anything with a portable storage tank here, you can totally just Take one of your canisters, and uh, if you walk up, go to this kind of yellow and black stripe side, you can insert it. You'll see the pressure will drop in here, but it'll refill your canister, and, and that, that'll give you plenty of oxygen to work with you know, as, you, uh, as you're as you going around. Now, the other question about propellant, and, and we're going to get to what to do if you don't have a portable oxygen tank, but propellant first. So, propellant is... Um, uh, it, it does seem to run out pretty quick, right? You know, like you go through it real fast, you know, flying around. You can see mine is low, all that jazz, right? So how do you refill this guy? Okay, It's the exact same way, because it doesn't actually matter what you put in the propellant tank. So we'll just drop this dude on the ground here and uh, open it up, empty that guy out, stick him in here, right? Fill them up 4,300 there, put them back in the propellant area, and there we go. Doing fine. You can use any gas. If you don't want to use oxygen, uh, you can use the next method to do this as well. So let's say, for instance, you don't have a portable uh, tank full of oxygen. Uh, something happened, or you lost it, or, or for whatever reason you don't have it. You're in dire straits, and you need, to, you, know, you need some oxygen or propellant, what have you. So well, what do you do? Well, what you can do is you can take a couple of items that you launched with, as well as you'll have to make this at the hydraulic pipe bender, but you can also but you can also make canisters at the hydraulic pipe pipe bender and it's good to have extras. So it's always good to to have that thing. And that and you make that at the uh, auto laser. Anyway. So the only thing that you don't want with you need is the uh gas uh gas storage tank. So uh you have to make that, but for a quick way to get some oxygen, a little a little crazy, uh, is you can, and this has to be on a frame, but you can build an active vent, build a pipe, and then we're going to go and we're going to take our gas tank storage and we're going to pop it on there at the end. Of course, one of these days I'll do it the right way. Yeah. Ah, uh, we were there. Okay. Take a uh, canister and you throw it in there. Now we want to make sure that this is set to outward, so that it's taking whatever's here and pushing it outward and not pulling stuff in from the canister. And you have to do this during daylight because we need to make these things melt. So you need either a source of heat or daylight. This is oxide, the other one's ice. We're going to use oxide because it produces just oxygen and uh, etc. Uh, we don't want the ice because the ice will melt and there'll be water all over the place. But if you have to, you can use ice as well. So what we do is we come over here, we turn on our active vent, and then we hold some oxide. And you hear that kind of strobing sound there as the oxide melts and creates a little oxygen. It gets pulled into the active while you're doing this, um, I think a stack of 50 oxides is going to end up around 2,500 to 3,000 um, pressure in your tank. Uh, and so, you know, if you want to get above that, which, I mean, you can, you can, you know, just do two stacks of it. And uh, that should get you by for a little while and, until you can do something more, um, more permanent. Uh, you can also refill, as I said, your propellant tank this way. Uh, there's all sorts of little tricks you can do with propellant tank, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I've been out, let's see there, 2931. I've been out before and ran out while trying to get out of something and thought I was stuck and then just took, uh, basically took my waste tank and uh, put it in the propellant tank slot and uh, it works just the, just the same, you know. So if you find yourself out and about and you're, and you're, you're having problems, uh, that is a quick way to to get yourself out of a, a hole, quite literally. Um, and and that should get you going for right now. But remember, 
You can always stick your your uh, your canisters in your oxygen tank here to fill them up, get them some pressure, or you can build this little active vent and uh, gas tank storage uh, contraption here to do about the same thing. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching me. Love you folks. Um, come back. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe. We're going to be doing more Stationeers videos in the very near future. I'm going to start talking about how to make different um, metals. Uh, and we're also going to make kind of an atmospheric chamber for gas, etc., and uh, oxygen so that we can continue to have our delightful, delicious oxygen and continue to breathe. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Take care. Have a great day. Be kind.